A very good evening to you. Thank you for watching Prime Edition here on KBC Channel One Time to get the latest in the world of business. My name is Betty Kiptum. Now, Kenya is losing about 150 billion shillings to counterfeiting annually, which has prompted the government to roll out the intellectual property rights recordation to stem the contraband goods. As Regina Manyara narrates, the value of illicit trade has hit the one trillion shillings mark. Kenya's economic survey of 2023 indicates that the manufacturing sector slowed down to 2.7% in 2022 from 7.3% in 2021, while 34 companies have closed in the last five years due to stiff competition from cheap imports, including counterfeits. And that has created another problem because the only place where you can create jobs is industry. So if you're exporting raw materials, you're punching below your weight, you're only manufacturing 3%, and the population is growing at 5%, you have a disaster in waiting. The worst heat sectors are building, mining and construction at 23%, energy, electrical and electronics at 15%, textiles and apparel at 14%, while plastic and rubber and metal and allied sectors each at 9%. We did start a program we are calling the, the importation, uh, declaration of imports, what we are calling the recordation program, where we require the owners of uh, intellectual property right to record with us and uh, the essence of this was motivated by the fact that we wanted to ensure that we don't spend a lot of time chasing loose cargo uh, once it gets into the country we want to deal with the counterfeiting at the source before even those goods are imported to the country, we are able to deal with them at that point in time. To address counterfeiting, players are calling for enhanced collaboration and stringent enforcement of deterrent measures. So I think together in, in um, symposiums like this, conversations, partnerships, collaborations, looking at our, intellect, uh, uh, at our legislative arm, um, enforcement arm and protection, we will be able to actually hopefully put this thing down, like the chair said, they know them, and and um, our work would really just to be able to enforce them because we know the health, the risk and, this, and, and, and the social erosion and financial erosion that um, counterfeiting gives to an economy. So far, counterfeited goods worth 3.4 billion shillings have been seized in the last five years. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.